your rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And we got a lot of news to talk about. Finally, finally, the BBC has shown a trailer for the upcoming uh, 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 Power of the Doctor. And honestly, I think it looked quite good. I mean, okay. Let me, let me rephrase that, okay? I think it looked quite good. I think the episode is going to be terrible. I think it's going to be much like Flux, where you have lots of big setups uh, uh, and not go anywhere and we have full of plot holes, right? But I think if you're a normie watching it who doesn't know what Doctor Who is, you can go, oh, yeah, it looks like Doctor Who, right? I'm not going to watch it. It's Jodie Whittaker. I can't stand her. But uh, uh, it looks like Doctor Who. I, 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 honest, I found the... Uh, um, uh, I think the special effects look, look really good. Right, look really good. It's a shame. I mean, yeah, the only thing that derails it is when Jodie Whittaker shows up. There's this fantastic effect shot, right, where they land on whatever this thing is, her, Dan, and Yaz, and she starts going, hey, can you fuck? And she, she kills the moment, right? She absolutely kills the moment. It's so bizarre. Uh, uh, so you got Jodie. Look, however good it looks, you got Jodie Whittaker and you got uh, uh, Christian was writing. So, you know. I, my hopes for it being good are very, very low. We are doing a full trailer reaction. I go through the trailer twice. Uh, that'll be towards the end of the video, right? If you want to fast forward there, fast forward there. It'll be the one where, where the trailers play, the bit the tra trailers play, right? Uh, uh, and you get get the full trailer reaction. But gen genuinely, why did they wait so long to drop it? It, it? I think it looks good on them, right? I think it looks good for them. I think it's just they're so embarrassed, right? Is it? The real, tra the, the, the real tragedy is this, that the uh, the really bad Christian or Doctor Who, they they said was the best this ever, like season 11, season 12. They're like, yeah, oh, oh studying and brave, best this ever, studying and brave, studying and brave, best this ever, best this ever, studying and brave. I, 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 honestly, I think the stuff he's done post-COVID has been, I mean, it's been awful. Don't be wrong, I think it's, if you like it, good for you, right? Good for you. I, I, I think it's been awful. Uh, um... So, uh, 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 but still, it looked more like Doctor Who, right? It was far more successful than the other complete failures. And again, they're complete failures, right? I mean, even even the Daleks, which I think is his best episode he's done. If you haven't seen it, don't bother, it's awful. Uh, um, the direction's excellent, right? First time director, really did a good job. But the script in Jodie Whittaker's awful, right? You got uh, uh, a Dalek that can't open a door with a with a with a Dalek gun. <laughs> I mean, like with a super special Dalek gun, regular door, right? Regular. How hard would it have been for Jodie Whittaker to go with the Sonic thing? Oh, I put a full field up. Is that, that no? They don't think about that because Chris Chibnall can't write, right? He cannot write for Toffee, and also he did his other his other trait, which he does all the time, which is uh, 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 the trick uh, done, done by Roy Castle in Doctor Who and the Daleks, where he says, "Hey, Daleks over here!" and they all turn around and they fire at him. He jumps on the floor and it blows up the Dalek computer. So you have the same thing again with the Daleks shooting each other. Uh, um, yeah, listen, no matter how good it gets, you've still got those significant drag factors of Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chibnall. It's nearly over, mate. It's nearly over. October 23rd. I hope they're showing it early, right? Wouldn't it be great? I mean, good for me because I'm two hours ahead. If they're showing it before Strictly. Strictly, I believe, starts at... When? Does it start... Does it finish at... Uh, starts at 7, ends at 8, right? So, uh, then, I think, that's the tentative schedule. So, if it's before Strictly, that's great for me, right? Uh, if it's after Strictly, finishes at... Uh, 9.30, that's 11.30 for me. So I'm not I'm not going to be a streaming a review till like midnight for me. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. Go for earlier. Okay, BBC, the, the only people who watch this shit is the kids. So do it, do it like during kiddie time, right? You might get more viewers. You never know. Don't put this out as an adult drama or a family drama because it's not. It's, it's, it's unwatchable bollocks, right? Fine. The best place to go is unwatchable bollocks. Doing a full trailer review later in this video. Fine. Like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are very, very good. Uh, 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 certainly subscribe. That's great. I just broke... Yeah, is, it still, is it still working? I just broke through 3,500 subscribers, right? I, I don't know if it's gone under again. Yeah, we have a check. I'll check on my uh, on my uh, my phone. Uh, and... Uh, 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 thinking about... No, no, now it's down under again. So if you can hit subscribe, that's great. I'm one away. Uh, uh, but I think once you break 35, maybe they'll be nice to me. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, sign up my sub with my email newsletter. I put a bunch of extra stuff out on that. Uh, uh, like I've got a whole treasure trove of Doctor Who stuff. Uh, a Doctor Who magazine digitally going pretty much all the way back. And I like put out out-of-print stuff on it. I find it interesting, like the old Gallifrey Guardians from 
the 90s or 2000s. I find that interesting. Interview stuff that's out of print. So that you get for free on my Substack. Please sign up to it. If you sign up my paid Substack, okay? And I've finally worked out what I'm supposed to do with this, right? You're supposed to plug things, right? You sign up my paid Substack. This week, or, or this month, I said, uh, this is going out my paid Substack. This is the Imperium. A love letter to Teddy Fancy of 96, as I wrote it. Dominic Racho did the uh, artwork on it. I did, oh, did such a good job, right? It's just gorgeous. We've got backup strips in here. We've got the... We, it, there's so much stuff in it, right? It's five bucks for the... Um, uh, uh, the paid Substack. So that, that I that's going out this month. Uh, 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 and thank you very much. Fine. Let's start looking at the story, shall we? Uh, uh, let's start over here. So apparently, a rumored uh, Doctor Who logo for the 60th anniversary dropped, and I'm really hoping it's true. Right? I'm really, really hoping it's true. Here, let's have a look at it. Uh, um, now, I think this might might well be the case. Right? I think it, it, I think Rusty Davis really wants to connect Doctor Who to Doctor Who, right? Because I think it's been really disconnected from Doctor Who. Uh, uh, and he wants people to go, oh, yeah, Doctor Who, I like that, right? So hopefully this is a logo. I really hope it is. I mean, I'll be very, very up for it. So you got this one, and you got this other one over here. Um, well, it's in one line. Uh, uh, single BBC Doctor Who. Um, again, you know, like, I, uh, uh, I, I hope this is the case, right? Will they do a new logo again for shooting stuff? Maybe, right? Maybe. Is this real? I don't know. I have no idea at all. Here, it showed up on... Let me see. Somebody sent me a thing. It showed up on... Lurie's appeared on a Facebook group reporting be the branding layouts of the upcoming Doctor Who branding logo. Man, is this going to be rolled out like the day... November, October 24th? One can only hope, right? One can only hope. So, uh, 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 you know, things are, things are moving. Are we seeing any of the 6th anniversary stuff this year, though? Maybe, according to the Bleeding Court. Let's have a look at this. Uh, Doctor Who 60 events later this year. BBC News spoiler or typo? We, we can really go either way, couldn't it? Right? It could be one, one or the other. Uh, so... Typically, the lackluster, so the typical lackluster trailer for Jodie Whittaker's final Doctor Who special, the power of the... I don't think it was lackluster. I, honestly, the reason people are ranking on it now is because, you know, it, it's... Uh, uh, it was this, like Lord of the Flies, right? Where they, uh, uh, where they ended up picking on and killing the fat kid, right? Because they could, right? Because it's failed and it's over, right? It's used, It's had its purpose. Now they can all rank on it. I'm saying it was the best it's ever and anybody didn't like it. It's an icky wicky bigger, right? Uh, um, so, uh, uh, Jodie Wiggins... So the typically lackluster trailer of Jodie Wiggins' final Doctor Who special, The Power of the Darks, has been posted today, and with it, a BBC official report. Of course, BBC owns Doctor Who, so all... Uh, so after all, so of course they need to report along with it, uh, with every other news outlet there. That, but they did just, uh, but did they just reveal the specials written by showrunner Rusty Davis and featuring David Tennant and Catherine Tate will be sooner than expected, as in later this year? I don't think they will. I think there might be something. I think there might be a trailer, like on Christmas or so. Who knows? Wouldn't that be great? A Christmas trailer? Uh, um, yeah, I think that'd be fantastic. Uh, in the last two sentences of the BBC report, Doctor Who, Geordie Whittaker making her last appearance of the Time Lord, uh, is stated a series of special episodes that mark the sixth anniversary will take place later this year. David Tennant, the 10th Doctor, at the ha no, it's a typo. I think it's a typo. Uh, we'll return uh, to that show alongside Catherine Tate. Uh, here's a look at that. Well, yeah, the reason I think it's probably a typo is because whenever he's asked when his first episode is, he says November 23rd, 2023, sixth anniversary, right? He says it without blinking, right? He says it like it's not a big deal. Either he's lying very, very effectively uh, to, you know, surprise us, or uh, uh, he's telling the truth, right? Uh, sex education actor Shuti Gatwa will take over from Whitaker to become the sci, uh, the sci fi series 14th Doctor. Will he, though? Will he? He'll be the next Doctor. Will he be the 14th? Yeah, I don't I don't buy any of this, quite frankly. Um, uh, he will follow Sylvester McCoy, David Tennant, and Peter Cabernet to become the fourth Scott to take up the role. Okay. The 29-year-old was born in uh, Rwanda. Will, uh, will also become the first person of colour to lead the series. A again, fine. Uh, whatever. <sighs> 
You know, I, I think Barack Obama has a lot to answer for. You know what I mean? Other than, you know, destroying the Middle East and creating Brexit and all the other things. He has a lot to answer for because white liberals felt so good about Barack Obama, right? Oh, a black man is a president. We've overcome our prejudice. We feel so good about ourselves. And every time you do diverse casting, that's what white liberals are predominantly chasing. That feeling of uh, 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 sanctified uh, sainthood. So they could, uh, 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 because, you know, they're overcoming, you know, oppression. So they had to make up oppression that doesn't bloody exist, so they can feel good about themselves. Uh, the 29-year-old, uh, born from Randall, we have the first person of colour, speaking in May this year, Gatwa told the BBC, it feels really amazing, it's uh, true honour, this role is an institution so iconic. Hey, look, Whitaker said all the same things, right? <laughs> Whitaker said all the same things. Uh, uh, oh, man. In, 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 in local uh, synagogue politics news, there, there's a committee forming to find a new rabbi. I'm like, I can't trust anything. They said the last one lied out of his ass, like when he, when he was applying for the job. Like, oh, I'm not going to change anything. Uh, you know, a few years later, he devastated our bloody community. Uh, um, <laughs> and also, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, what we like to call in Judaism, the Torah. Uh, um, uh, so I'm like, really? And that, I think that what made me sick. Like, I got sick yesterday, right? Uh, over, you know, over the Sabbath. I'm recording this today, October 9th, right? Because I, I heard the same people on the search committee or the same people on the last one. I'm like, really? Really? Have it, I mean, honestly, had, didn't it go badly enough last time? No? Okay, maybe. maybe so uh, maybe this time you just bring in a monkey rapist instead. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I digress. Uh, uh, um, the series special episode marks the Doctor Who's 6th anniversary will take place later this year. This is a typo, right? Catherine, uh, David Dennett, uh, the 10th time will return to the show. Uh, okay, none of this is right. This is all completely wrong, Okay. Are we getting more Doctor Who in 2022? Unless our understanding of English language has deteriorated, it hasn't, but your understanding of human beings has never been very good, uh, or the rules of language have changed. Wouldn't this year mean 2022? Doctor... I'll see the weirdos at the BBC. Uh, did the B... Uh, um, uh, this is mean 2020. Uh, did the BBC just state the new special will be broadcast this year? First of all, the first official uh, reveal, uh, there will be more than one uh, special from Davis, Tennant and Tate. I, honestly, I think we'll probably get something. We, we, we might get something with, with, with Shooty, right? We might get a trailer with Shooty, a trailer with Tennant. That, that I can see. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, wouldn't that? That'll be the best part of October 23rd if it comes with a trailer at the end of it. Oh, man, that would be awesome, right? Um, did the BBC uh, 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 first of all the uh, Fitzroy World more, more than one special with uh, Tennant and Tate uh, even though that's already assumption given they are three credited directors working on it only takes one director to make a single episode after all well you know you people you know, multiple directors of things before uh, secondly it does seem that the new uh, new specials after Power of the Doctor would be broadcast around Christmas time uh, Russell D. Davis has always been a big supporter of, of uh, Doctor Who Christmas specials, and that's why we love you, Russell, right? That's why I hope the uh, woke insanity that has seeped into your brain hasn't got so far in, because if you're super woke, you're not going to like Christmas, because Christmas is, oh, 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 icky-wicky. It comes from uh, the Bible and stuff. No, okay, I honestly, I'm Jewish. <laughs> I'm a rabbi. Freaking love English Christmas. You know, uh, uh, mince pies, roast turkey, Christmas pudding. Like, right, really? What's not to like? It's like, and it's also nicer, right? I love those Christmas specials. I love hearing uh, uh, Christmas carols, that sort of thing on the streets. And uh, uh, it used to be in the, in the eighties and nineties when I lived in London. I'm not sure they still have it. They have these. Uh, uh, these people have these big metal drums, right? That you can buy uh, uh, roasted. Uh, what nuts? Some kind of roasted nuts, right? It would do uh, around Christmas. It was great, right? And people were just generally happier and nicer to each other. I like Christmas, right? And I, I hope Rusty Davis keeps the Christmas thing going. Uh, it's always been a big time of Christmas, and under his run, they have always been uh, got huge ratings, getting ten million viewers uh, or ten million more viewers. Uh, they stopped making Christmas specials on uh, Christian was wrong. We don't know if it was his decision or the BBC. Well, he says it was his decision. He says, I know the idea for Christmas specials. And that's what he said. I don't want to tell you. Maybe he was lying. Probably not. Uh, 
Uh, I, I know, look, the BBC are just so weird, aren't they? Like, oh, oh, it's not very inclusive having Christmas. English Christmas is so inclusive. Um, uh, we can't blame him for everything. Well, yes, you can. If you're in charge of everything, you can blame him for everything, right? Yes, you can. Uh, as it is, Chimnall Post Christmas specials usually broadcast uh, after Christmas and around New Year's have not felt like uh, Chris, uh, uh, felt like special events. I, I understand. They try. Again, even the Daleks, Legend of the Sea Devils, they, they, they try to make them feel like special ev events, but it's starring Jodie Whittaker and written by Chris Chimnall. What are you going to do? Right, there's only so yeah, there's only so much perfume you can pour on that pig baby. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Christmas special has always been special. Uh, uh, I don't understand this line at all. Around New Year's and have not felt like special events. That's and that's hardly his fault. He wrote and created like how is it not his fault? Yes, it is. Yes, yeah, no, that is his fault. It's weird. You're being weirdos, okay? Weirdos. Um, uh, even ITV Victoria, which starred the former companion uh, Jenna Coleman as Queen Victoria, had a Christmas special in 2017, which turned out to be the uh, the series' final episode. Uh, for now, it, uh, 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 for now, because it has been officially cancelled. So, did the MBC mistype th uh, this year instead of next year? Yes, they got a lot wrong, right? Uh, in my opinion, right? In my opinion, the, uh, uh, is it just, uh, uh, is it going to be the first special for Christmas or the next? I mean, wouldn't it be great? But I, I, I wouldn't think so. I see why the BBC would want that. But, uh, uh, you know, I would, I, I wouldn't have thought so. Fine, let's move on. Uh, let Joe go. Again, again, I hope, I hope this is the case, right? Wouldn't that be great? Oh, makes you feel warm. Now, what's Darcy Davis' new series going to be like? Uh, uh, internet uh, 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 hearts went, went, went uh, uh, all of a flutter it, uh, when this article came out. Which said, oh, we've got to zoom in. Uh, zoom in and make it bigger. Ooh, uh, make it bigger, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, what can I tell you? I have a very immature sense of humour. <laughs> Rusty Davis sets out an ambition to make a uh, major, uh, make issue a major part of the BBC flagship. Uh, it, honestly, it always has been, right? I mean, that's one of the great things about Doctor Who, right? I, I, I'm of the opinion. That it can, that pretty much anything can be done when written with talent and intelligence, right? Again, the Malcolm Hughes story is fantastic. Uh, uh, Happy to stroll, fantastic. Uh, uh, I, honest, generally speaking, politics aside and wokeness aside, I think me and Rusty Davis agree on basic mo uh, uh, morality and what's right and wrong. Maybe, maybe. Again, but they got driven insane by Trump and Brexit, didn't they? So, uh, I mean, I don't know. What, like, what? I what's the trip the more insane? Trump, Brexit or Biden? I, I don't know. The complete failure that is Joe Biden must bite a bit, right? Doctor Who is to feature dedicated storylines about climatic change. Other Russell e. Davis identified it as a huge concern for youngsters. Again, see, to this to me seems to be like tapping into the audience rather than uh, um Doing a uh, platforming ideology to uh, to give yourself social credit, which is what I think Chris Chibnall did, right? Uh, uh, so uh, to me, it sounds like it's these are going to be stories, right? Speaking to the uh, B uh, BBC Chief Content Officer Charlotte Moore at the Climate Change Conference today, he prepares to take the reins of BBC as uh, he begins of the BBC One sci-fi drama. Davis said uh, the issue needs to be addressed head on. Uh, well, okay, that's the thing, you know, it didn't really, wasn't really addressed head on. I mean, Orphan 55 was the worst episode of Doctor Who, right? Uh, uh, I, I know, Orphan 55 or Can You Hear Me? They're both pretty bad. They're like some of the worst, worst episodes of Doctor Who ever. Um, and it did deal with it straight on, but it's just written, written for shit. What do you want me to tell you? I think Rossi Davis can probably write it pretty well, right? Uh, it's kind of part of the atmosphere and the whole show, it's true. And it's part of the world we're living in now. Uh, well, I guess, look, honestly, if you want to focus on climate change, it, it, you, you might want to do that uh, uh, rather than focus on the complete and total failure of all your politics, right? Uh, I mean, it gets more muddy in England when, when you've got, uh, uh, well, you got Boris Johnson uh, and most of the Tories uh, uh, in, the same, in, in the same realm as Biden, right? It's like there's no real difference. So it's not really about left or right. It's about establishment and um, 
anti-establishment establish versus people, I guess. Uh, Alec Russell's always been a, a, was a humanist, but he was so wrong about Trump, about me, like, about Biden. It's so wrong. I can see them wanting to pivot, right? That makes sense. But again, as long as I get entertaining stories, that's really all I care about, right? That's really the bottom line. Um, he revealed that his approach as uh, writer uh, for the 2004-2005 reboot was to stop young people worrying about death and uh, destruction. He recalled the doctor portrayed by Chris Echo making what Davis now considers to be a hopeless, naive speech about uh, the human race always survives uh, threats against it. My approach in 2022 is to bring optimism and hope, but I have a little bit more. I have to be a little bit more honest now. If I wasn't the young, uh, if it, if it, if it wasn't the young audience, uh, would say, "Don't be stupid. You've got to talk about this, or you're going to be uh, letting us down hugely." And uh, now he said, "I'm in the position to. Uh, I'm in the position where I have to listen to young viewers that are engaged uh, and passionate about this." Again, you know. I think Jordan Peterson really, really nails it. The people are, are obsessed about climate change uh, because it's a way of um, not looking at your own failings, right? It's a way of not looking at, you know, it, it, you don't worry about climate change if you can't keep your room clean, right? And I know it's a bit pat, but I think that's true. Like, if you're not able to have the agency to clean your bloody room and li or, or have agency around you, you don't have agency to change the world, especially a change that will kill millions upon millions upon people, which is what stopping fossil fuel will do, right? It will kill hundreds of millions of people, are they tens of millions, hundreds of millions of people overnight and over the next few years. Um, so climate change takes center, takes center stage. Uh, also, remember, he's in a climate change conference. I mean, obviously, he's going to play it up a bit. Uh, Davis believes more dramas will be placing climate change centre stage over the next decade, uh, driven by young writers who care deeply about the issue. I, I mean, I think if nothing changes, you're probably right, but the, the world's all about it. Like, we all know we're on the precipice of a global change, right? Some kind of restart, uh, uh, some kind of great reboot. How about a great reset? Let's call it a great reset. So, uh... Uh, uh, I don't think they're going to be worrying about climate change so much when they're living in pods and e eating bugs, right? At, at that point, they'll be like, ah, oh, okay, maybe this wasn't the best. Um, uh, he compared it to uh, the emergency, the emergence of gay, uh, gay characters on screen. Well, I hope it happens better than that. I mean, like, even normals are going, yo, why is everybody gay in everything now? I mean, like... Is a hundred percent of the superheroes in DC and Marvel gay now? I mean, everybody's gay. I just heard that Tom Taylor's uh, gay Superman got cancelled for low sales. Uh, so, uh, yeah, look, if you can do it without it being obnoxious garbage that nobody wants to see, you might have an idea, right? And, and honestly, gay characters fine. How this translated as this translated into sexually mutilating. Uh, children is beyond me, right? I'm taking kids to drag shows. Uh, 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 you know, highly sexualized. God, it's beyond me. I mean, well, I'm sleep with whoever, whoever you want. Uh, it's, it's when you start cutting off the balls of twelve year olds. Uh, uh, I said to say no, right? I don't think that's a good thing. I don't think that's affirming, right? Uh, 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 I think that's bad. Of course, Google, I'm wrong. Okay, uh, uh, YouTube, I'm wrong. I okay, don't start spite my channel. Um, for decades, people asked why there were no, no queer representation on screen, uh, said Davis, who also created General for for uh, aids focus series, It's a Sin. Um, I mean, I guess during the 80s, uh, uh, and the, it had to be more, it was more subtle, but I think by the time he had 2005, yeah, Captain Jack, nobody blinked. Right, really, literally nobody blinked, did they? Uh... It doesn't happen overnight. A lot of good people have to chip away on soaps, dramas, and theatre until it reaches a consensus and suddenly the gay and queer characters are centre stage and on screen. Yeah, I understand. And, I, I mean, did you see that movie, hear about that movie Bros? It was a gay romantic comedy starring Billy Eichler that nobody went to see, right? Because when you make a, a, a movie for 2% of your audience, that's your entire, that's your audience, essentially. And you're not going to get the entire 2%. You're going to get like 1%. And, you, and, you, and you're and you going to be amazed that, that it doesn't do very well. See, this is why I like Russell D. Davis, though. I think he's always attached to people, right? I do. I really do. So I'm, I'm, I, I am somewhat optimistic. Um... Climate change is now in the margin of the, uh, uh, margin of the picture and starting to step forward 
and entered into that. I mean, honestly, if it, if we can get rid of all the constant gay stuff, I think I'll take climate change over gay stuff, right? Like like everybody being gay all the time. What was that? The uh, oh my god, it was so awful. Was it resolution? Not resolution of the Dalek. Resolution was it? Oh, my boyfriend uh, uh, said this to me. Oh no, I'm dead. Uh, um, one day uh, we will reach a point where we think, how are we not talking about this all the time? God, please no. Uh, he hides an episode of Coronation Street in which character Maria is using environmentalism as part of a uh, local councillor ele uh, uh, election campaign as a sort of stepping stone storyline, which is helping make the issue more prominent. Again, if it's done with intelligence and, and it's entertaining and it's not the thing driving it, I don't think this is a reason to worry. I really... Uh, Unless we see it and it's garbage, right? I don't think it's going to be fun, okay? I don't think it's going to be fun, Doctor Who. Uh, well, we, it has always been on the cutting edge. Davis knows what, uh, what what's on the bubble, right? Um, Davis hinted that he plans uh, with more to make more cl uh, climate change a bigger focus of the projects over the next few years. We uh, uh, we have a plan which is absolute, uh, which will absolutely stare this down. It's going to be the thing I am most proud of. Okay. Davis revealed his disappointment that his attempt to tackle climate change in 2019's BBC One dystopian drama years and years didn't attract big audience. It's uh, very hard to get right. Well, I'm glad, listen, I'm glad you had a, a trial, trial run with it. But hip, the problem why years and years didn't work uh, or wasn't overly successful, which was very good. Don't be wrong. Great, great uh, a script, great characters, great actors. Uh, it, it's because it was your uh, uh, Rusty Davis like angst-ridden uh, crisis over Trump and Brexit, right? He said, oh, the going to happen. No, no. It turned out Trump and Brexit. Well, at least Trump was very, very, very good, right? Uh, have you seen that? Like, we're at the brink of war. We're at the brink of nuclear war, and they're doing everything they can to push it to to, to happen, right? We are, I, we are. Ab we got Biden. But well, I'm telling you, Biden, watching Biden is like watching a Leslie Nielsen movie now. He said, he, was it? I, 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 when Shabbat ended, I saw this tweet where he gets up and says, I've just got two things to say. Made in America. And it was like, oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that's the problem, right? You were, the, the reason why it failed is because it was intrinsically tied to a, uh, a falsehood, right? This falsehood that Trump was the worst ever. He wasn't. He was a good president. I'm sorry. What, yeah, best economy ever and world peace to this, right? Everything's on fire. Um, it's one of the 18, it's the 18 to 21 year olds who uh, start to write about this stuff as though it's natural, he said. For older generations writing about these issues, it's like ticking boxes. Whereas if you're 16 and in school, it's part of your life. I know, that's why schools are, uh, uh, I, I'm not happy with the way schools are indoctrinating kids into all kinds of weirdness, right? Your, uh, um... It's part of your life, your friends, your system. I eagerly anticipate the wave of dramas that people will make uh, uh, make me look very old-fashioned. Well, I, honestly, I think the bubble's about to burst, mate. Honestly, I think this... Yeah, we live in a world of, like, just complete falsehood. Right? Just complete and total falsehood. Where we're told up is down and black is white, right? And I just don't think it's going to be sustainable for much longer. I, honestly, I think the age of woke might be over by Christmas. Uh, wouldn't that be great? Um, where are we at? To? And in school, it's part of your life, your friends. I eagerly enter... Oh, it, it may be very old-fashioned. He urged commissioners to identify young writers and pair them up with established production teams uh, and learn skills to uh, help them deliver scripts. Once you get new talent coming in uh, with uh, with that production background, we'll have more young ideas and for the first time and first time writers on board, uh, they'll be the ones who are uh, talking about the cli uh, you know, climate issue uh, when they were five. It, it's in their language and innately in their in their view of the world. So honestly, again, I, I think this sounds like good news to me, right? More, more than anything else. I like the I like the idea of Doctor Who being a bit too young for me. All right, Doctor Who should always be young. Doctor Who should always be on like the cutting cutting edge of drama, uh, uh, or cutting edge of society. Right, and it always has been. Uh, um, so uh, 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 you know, I like the idea. I think you know, I do. I, I I do like the idea. And I think under somebody like Ralph C. Davis, he might be able to give them a, a direction where they become great writers. Again, wouldn't that be? 
Fantastic. I think that's basically what, what we, we would all want, isn't it? I, I, I really don't know. Fine, let's look at some other stories. We've got one more. Uh, okay, so fine, we're going to get into the trailer. <laughs> let's see what Screen Rant has to say about the trailer. Uh, Doctor Who, The Power of the Doctor reveals Whittaker's finale. The official Doctor Who, Power of the Doctor trailer arrives, revealing Jodie Whittaker's finale as the BBC iconic tra uh, time-travelling hero. They released a bit of artwork from it, which was Drek. Like, really genuine. It looked like the cover of a, uh, 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 a quickly put together uh, uh, RPG game. Uh, the Doctor Power of the Trailer has finally arrived. The Power of the Doctor is the 60th anniversary special for the... Lo no. No, it's not. It's a centenary special for the BBC. Uh, what the hell? Okay, Hannah... G you can't even get your basic facts right. Uh, uh, and will feature actors really including the 10th Doctor David and Catherine Day. What the fuck are you talking about? She is high. What? What? The doc Okay, let's just read this. This is this is this is off the off the charts insane. The Doctor Who Power of the Daleks trailer has finally arrived. Doctor Who Power of the Daleks is the 60th anniversary special for the long-running Doctor Who, the long-running sci-fi drama series, and will feature actors from the previous season, including David Tennant, Kath, uh, 10th Doctor David Tennant, Catherine Tate, as well as new actors, including Yasmin Fitt. What the fuck are you talking about? Who plays Rose? Doctor of the Battle of Dalek will be the official end of the Jodie Whittaker run of 13th Doctor with Shooting Gut were taking over as the 14th Doctor in the upcoming season in which Finney will also start. No, she won't. I mean, no one said anything about that. Fuck me. I mean, really? I, I, like, how are you so freaking clueless, darling? Uh, that, that's crazy. Details of the Battle of Doctor have been revealed along with, uh, along with that which suggests the special will deliver intense scenes Early photos from Cardiff reveal the cast, including Tennant, Finney, and Tate, alongside act uh, alongside each uh, uh, other features in the explosive scene. Literally, the set features special effects of explosions occurring. Uh, other photos give glimpses of Till Patrick Harris. You are you are off your fucking tree, darling. Uh, uh, Protecting trade gear for the Thirteen Dogs companion. Yes. Uh, Oh, uh, okay, fine. Well, yeah, I've got, yeah, I, I got to do more, right? I've got to do more. Uh, um, uh, fate has yet to be confirmed. Uh, with just a few weeks remaining before the... Two weeks remaining before the BBC uh, premiere, the BBC have revealed the official trailer for Power of the Doctor trailer in the upcoming special. Uh, the video offers the first look at the proper uh, Jodie Whittaker Doctor Who finale and the iconic character as well as the Masters... Return and the Dalek threat. Check out the trailer above. We're going to in a second. Though the Doctor, though uh, the Doctor Who Power of the, Do uh, the Doctor trailer teases a variety of stories from uh, threads from Whitaker's final turn as the titular character. One of the more interesting takeaways is the return of Archer and the Renegade, the Master, uh, in their ver uh, various incarnations throughout the show. Blah blah blah. blah. The Master has generally uh, uh, aimed to gain control of the universe and make the Doctor suffer. Uh, through this new e eagerly, uh, new trailer, he, he, he shows him eager to wipe out the Doctor from existence entirely. Uh, this concept and plan was previously teased in Doctor Who Flux when the Master learned of the Doctor. He wasn't in Flux! Fuck me. <laughs> it's just great. Everything about this is wrong. We learned the Doctor was a timeless child. Le uh, uh, learning of the ways effectively to kill protagonists permanently, which seems to be aiming... Oh, fucking hell. Uh, with the release date confirmed, audience will not have to wait long. Uh, the trailer... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. The trailer is enough up in the air to be significant entry to the exact events of the story, including leaving the fate of many of Whitaker's 13th Doctor companions unknown, namely Mandit Gill, who gives a crap. Uh, only time will tell how the special plays out. Uh, Doctor Who uh, is on uh, Sunday the 23rd. How will it play out? It will probably not be not well received, right? It will probably be, it will probably be not well received. Fine, let me head over to me from last night when we looked at the trailer uh, uh, for Doctor Who, Power of the Daleks. Oh, no, no, no. Doctor Who. Power of the Doctor would be good. Power of the Doctor. Okay, let's do the trailer. Here we go. Uh, video file. Oh, icky thump. Oh, I'm excited. All right, I have to say. 
visually, I think that's very strong, right? I, 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 uh, um, I think it works with the, uh, the the whole rainbow theme with her. It's her thing, uh, 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 and I think this. I th oh, look at that! I think this is a solid, solid effect shot. Hello, doctor. Oh, there you go. It's gone downhill. Hello, doctor. Oh, if you thought still can't act, I know, darling. I know. I know. Oh, you're mad that you can't act, aren't you? Oh, look, you got your little angry face on. Oh, you got to stop your little feet, aren't you? Look up at the bag. I'll be completely ineffectual. Lenny Henry stared you down, darling. I've seen him in Lord of the Rings. Please. Oh, my God. Welcome to the end of your existence. <sighs> a dozen of the world's leading seismologists have gone missing. Fifteen of the world's most valuable paintings have disappeared. All right, so this is... This is this is what criminals learn to do with Doctor Who, right? To just like overload you with information, right? Over oh, sort of, sort of, uh, 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 yeah, she makes it. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, um, overload you with different like, uh, uh, oh, the plane has gone stolen. This is done. There's a eight bit snip boys here as well. Uh, um, you know, the plane is stolen. Uh, these things, too many things, right? We saw a bit of ace. Well, so I think that was a pretty strong effect shot as well. Look, I, I, honestly, I don't think you can you can fall it on its effects work. Look at that! Oh, that that was excellent. Okay. That was great, and she ruined it. What the hell? That was, I was just gonna say that was great, and she absolutely killed that. Let's go watch that again. Oh, oh no! That was great. Everybody was great apart from Jody in that scene. <laughs> she killed that scene. It was a look at that. We're going to watch that again. It's a great little oh, look at that. It's, it feels very Doctor Who y. Looks great. And then Jody opens her mouth. What's a landing? 9.9. Oh, shut up, Jody. Oh, you give me a headache, darling. Give me an editor. Uh, okay, great, great shot, the TARDIS. So, looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. Can I let you in on a little secret? A direct incursion on Earth is imminent. Uh, Nick Briggs always uh, always brings the uh, brings the good. I'm glad he got the work, frankly. Uh, 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 oh look, Vinda's back. Who gives a shit? Right? Uh, I mean, like, don't be wrong. He weren't bad, but like, it just throw things in this. Does it never occur to you that it could be a trap? Um. Now that could be the uh, um. The finale, I mean, the last image of it, right? I'm not so the one of the rumors is that it, uh, it ends on a sort of cliffhanger with the master laughing, so that could be that. Uh, 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 but of course, they ripped that off from ba uh, uh, Bad Wolf, didn't they? Yeah, of cool. course. This is the day you are erased forever. Bit of a conversation stopper. Masters is kind of stupid. Uh, uh, okay, this is again visually fantastic. I love Ashton. I mean, just, I wish he had a backstory, right? Uh, I mean, anything that Chris Chibnall is too busy to deal with, I think is coming out excellent, right? <laughs> anything, anything he touches, it does a shit, right? Uh, watch that again. I mean, like Jody running's not very good. They do it quickly, though. Oh, heck you up. Oh, what's that, then? That's some, like, space jellyfish blowing up a something next to this. Two TARDIS is there. Okay, so it looks like we're going to get a... Oh, this is going to be... Oh, that looks like the War Doctor. Not the War Doctor. I mean, the Dr. Ruth and uh, and Dr. Jody, right? That looks like... Is it Oh, Ace is good doing well. Let's have a look at that. It's incredible. Uh, I think Sophie pulled that off, quite frankly. I think it feels very in character for Ace. So, again, anything that Whitaker's not touching, I I'm not mine. I mean, I I again, I think the effect shots have uh, been beautiful. Uh, and look, his master's stupid, okay? we just, That's just the way it is. I thought that was a good effect shot. I think this is a good effect shot. Dangerous. Uh, I think Sophie's going to come out a lot better than Janet. I hate the Dahlia. 
Anything could happen. You're gonna die, okay? You're going. That's the thing that could happen. Again, okay, uh, uh, okay, let's go back. Oh, we all do, darling. See, yeah, look, bit and it brings some Daleks. It looks like Doctor Who to a normie. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, we can't put our smashes together. Oh, quick, darling. The power of the Doctor. Doctor. Don't forget to click below and. Oh, ah! Damn, it's just my normal reaction. I, yes, oh. Go away. They didn't have the date. There's another trailer I saw as well. Hang on. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. YouTube. Go to subscriptions. Uh, do, 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 do. Right. I think I saw two. Fine. So this looks like another one. Oh, this is definitely not. It looks like another one. Hang on one second. Let me download this and we'll watch the second one. YouTube downloader online. Give me all my secrets. Oh, she always get me secrets. She always going to get me lucky charms. She cried. Uh, okay, download, paste it in, paste, doink. Uh, okay, we want... Um, what? 7.20. Okay. There's too many things going on. Gave me too many. I didn't like that downloader. And that's to make me wait. I don't like to wait. I'll go back and find another one. Okay. You're missing your chance, baby. Is there one other one I use more often? Let's try this one. Okay. Doink. Start. Getting a whizzy wheel. I think it's a good sign. It's not a whizzy wheel on my computer. Ah, 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 okay. Download at uh, 1280. There you go. Let me just bounce me to AliExpress because you know, it's just the way they roll. I'm going to try it again. There you go. And now I'm going to download it. Download. Really? I'll oh, save video ads. There you go. I knew I'll find it. Come on now. You're thinking about it. It will do it soon. Yes. Oh, wacky thump. Come on. Save video ads. Is it the same? Hang on, let me see if it's the same. It looks. Oh, it looks. Yeah, it looks the same. Hang on. Oh, it's downloading now, anyway. Yeah, you could even, we, we will watch it together and we will decide. Video file. Still downloaded. Come on. You can do it. Really? Like 14 meg and it won't download? Yeah, let me look back. See if it's the same thing. Do you get volcanoes? Yeah, I think it's the same. Let's watch it back again. All right, good effect shot. I, I, I'm sorry. I think it was a good uh, effect shot. I think it, it, it works well for uh, for the era, right? Hello, Doctor. Welcome to the end of your existence. I mean, I know it's, I don't like his master. It's a bit too silly. A dozen of the world's leading seismologists have gone missing. Fifteen of the world's most valuable paintings have disappeared. Yeah, it, it is all very chivalrous, okay? But then none of this is going to get tied up, right? This is not, none of this is going to get tied up. Look, I land it. Oh, she kills it! Boy, does she take a shit on this? Bloody hell. Oh, she's terrible. I'm sorry, she is just terrible. Boy, nice. That's it. Can I let you in on a little secret? A direct incursion on Earth is imminent. Has it never occurred to you that? It was that and rolling out the tar from the TARDIS. Oh, that must be how they're they're doing the uh that space jumpy thingy. Oh. Has it never occurred to you that it could be a trap? This isn't a day. No, nothing's occurred to her. 
Look, nothing is going to work because she's a moron. You are erased forever. Again, I think this is all pretty good effect shots. And again, it feels like Doctor Who effects. And that's not a diss, but it, 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 Doctor Who's got a certain feel. I... Forever. Bit of a conversation stopper. Yeah, whenever she comes on screen, it dies. It's incredible. Yeah, I'm sorry, that, that ace bit is good. It's incredible. Yeah, that feels like ace to me. Dangerous. It was a really bad idea. Anything could happen. I don't want it to end. Oh, we all do, darling. We all do. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Production values are excellent. Okay, the production values are really, really excellent. I, you know, I, I want to be positive where I can. It's going to be shy. But the production values are um, splendid. Yes. Oh, she's so awful. Anyway, uh, 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 was that Rusty? No. It was a Dalek. Right, it, it's like, yeah, no, just a Dalek. <laughs> so there you go, trailer has dropped. My name is Peter Beckett, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.